back. Well, among the raft of policies that were announced on Friday, the fertilizer policy or rather subsidy for urea companies was what uh, uh, investors were waiting for. Suresh Warrior, Director of Finance at RCF joins us now. Uh, Mr. Warrior, what we now understand is that you get subsidy even if you produce beyond your capacity. So uh, explain to us, are you producing over capacity and therefore how much more money will you make? Yeah, uh, good morning all of you. <clears throat> Basically, uh, the urea under the urea policy, production up to 100% is compensated based on the your concession rate. Whereas beyond 100%, the compensation is restricted to a maximum of the import parity price. Now, what has happened during 2016-17 was the import parity prices of urea dropped substantially low. It came down to as low as 170, 180 levels. So as a result, the production for some of the units uh, for beyond 100% was not becoming viable. So all these companies represented to the government that this, is, this policy needs amendment. So government has amended that policy for compensation above 100%. And the impact will not be very major amount for the fertilizer companies because there are only a few companies which are getting affected for this. <clears throat> and uh, RCF, in RCF, Trombe unit is uh, basically getting some benefit out of this. There are some other units like GSFC, GNFC, the units of NFL, Nangal, Batinda, Panipat. These, all these units which were slightly on the higher, higher cost side will get the benefit. Okay. So for high cost manufacturers like yourself, um, can you quantify for us what the benefit will be? You said that your Trombe unit will benefit. Yeah, but any, yeah, it, any way to quantify? It may be around 25 crores. Okay. Okay. So, and uh, this is only for 2016-17. Okay. And mm. going ahead? Going ahead because uh, what has happened is they have, un in the policy, uh, one more uh, thing that has been no notified is ki that the Department of Fertilizers, in consultation with Department of Expenditure, can take decision on such matters in the future. So they need not go to the cabinet again and again if suppose the urea prices drop in, say, 17-18 and going further. Well, Mr. Warrior, uh, can you tell me how much your subsidy is per ton within that 100% and how much it will be beyond that 100%, uh, the actual amount in rupees per ton? Uh, see, at Trombe, our uh, concession rate is around 22,000 rupees. So, reducing about 5,200, you will get about 16,800 and odd. Whereas, for more than 100%, now, with this formula, it may be around 17,000 rupees. Okay. So, uh, so it may come about uh, 17,000 minus 5,000, which is about 12,000, 11,000, 12,000. Okay. Uh, fair enough. Uh, um, uh, Mr. Boria, thank you very much for explaining all those details to us. Uh, uh, that's